Well, today's a travel day, and it's not our usual travel day because it'll be a bit more real. Yes, we've had a rough few days, and we are going to fill you in on that over throughout the day. We're also going to try to give you some tips based on what we've learned while traveling. To help you make your travel experience hopefully a bit better. We are also traveling to a new country today, so although we are low-key, we are very excited. We're Keith and Deb, and if you're new here, we've spent the last year learning and growing as we travel around the world. We are currently in Southeast Asia and have been overcome by the kindness and natural beauty we have experienced. That being said, illness has also found its way into our travels. Subscribe to follow along. Bye bye, thank you. Okay, first things first though, we do have to do some administrative things because we are changing to a new country from Thailand to Vietnam. And for Vietnam, you actually have to get a visa and do that ahead of time. Rules have changed, you have to do them online only. And we printed them off. Yay! We're going through security, so we'll put the camera away and hopefully be at the lounge in a second. Oh my goodness. <laughs> This is luxury. And we've been doing a lot of bus travel over the last few months. Not very much travel by plane in Asia. And we forgot how luxurious traveling by plane is. Don't ever take that for granted. I'm going to sleep now. Why are we in Thailand? Last we left you, we were on a crazy cool slow boat. And we said we had stuff to do in this country, which we did, but it didn't go as planned. So we spent the night at the border and then woke up feeling great. Keith was honestly feeling a bit tired. We had really spicy food the night before at this beautiful border bungalow, mm -hmm. let's call it. And so I think it triggered my gut. We had a seven hour bus ride to Chiang Mai because we had two really cool days planned here in Chiang Mai before flying out to our next country. We were going to do tours with PM Tours again, which, which is if an you remember, company. we did the zip lining and the amazing jungle trekking overnight trip we did early on in our trip and it was phenomenal. And so the two reasons we were in Chiang Mai is to fly to our next country and to do these partnerships. But sadly, at the end of our seven hour bus trip to Chiang Mai, Keith was feeling really sick. Yeah, so I had a 24 hour spout of food poisoning in Veng Vieng and I swear I got like I don't know, reactivated or something like that with the spicy food or maybe my immune system was low, but it, it hit me hard in Chiang Mai like three days ago when we first got here. And I don't know, we had, I had to take antibiotics. It was Bad like high fever. fever. It's another one Couldn't of keep liquids keep down. being sick moments. It and was, it happens too often. And to it, was, it was scary. And yeah, it, so it, really, it really took a toll, obviously on Keith, but on both of us. Um, Getting sick while traveling sucks. And especially when you have cool things planned that you have to cancel on. But that's besides, that's kind of why we're kind of in a low, low key mood. Keith has eaten bread and bananas for the last 48 hours. Yeah, I'm like, I'm withering away too. But besides the point, we are traveling and we're ready to go and we're gonna try and bring our energy levels back up and mm. feel healthy again, right? No. No. <laughs> yeah. Mm. So to make this video more interesting and helpful for you guys, we decided we wanna try and share some tips that we have picked up through our travels to make travels easier and hopefully so what happened to us does not happen to you. The first tip is actually today's sponsor, Holofly, which is an e-SIM card shop that offers data packages in over 165 different countries and regions worldwide. We use the Asia package. Which offers data in 12 different countries across Asia and has been so helpful for us on this trip. Mm. All you need to do is sign up online, you're given a QR code, you scan the QR code and you're good to go. There's no physical SIM and you have data wherever you are in those countries. It's this easy. Look at this. So for us, for example, recently we did Cambodia to Laos and then Laos to Thailand, where we are right now. And we've ha we hadn't had to worry about data. connecting to the internet. We were no. able to pull up Google Maps. We were able to check bookings and making making sure that Contact the emails are- Contact our drivers because yeah, it's all the land and borders and making sure we are What's not that? getting lost. So yeah. we would totally recommend Holofly. And if you're going traveling and want this, eSIM card, we actually have a link below for a 5% discount. If you want to support us as well. So, that tip is a huge one. We're gonna move on because I saw that there was a lavender latte and I don't know what that is, but it's recommended. So, I wanna go try one. I'm also getting hungry, so I'm gonna grab some food. Yay, we're in a lounge. I don't know what a lavender latte means, but I'm gonna go press the button and find out. Look at this kitchen, huh? Look at this food. Oh my 
my gosh, it's actually so nice. Oh, it's sweet. Wow. I will get food in a second. Speaking of food, that's our second tip, food. Sometimes you eat it and you get sick. How do you know what's good? How do you know what's bad? How can you come prepared? We're gonna give you the best possible explanation that we can, and that is, first of all, that every body is different. Keith and I have literally eaten the exact same food over the last little bit, Which and I Which is why I'm losing weight. Not, no, the same I didn't portions. mean, that's not what I meant. I meant we eat the same kind of food. We also do eat the same food, so. And I have not gotten sick, and Keith has gotten sick multiple times. So, sadly, part of it is just your body type and what your body can handle. But there are Definitely. a few things that you can avoid to hopefully not get sick. Right, so one of the first things we do is we sort of like, we judge food stalls, we judge restaurants, and we definitely use Google Maps reviews, we use website reviews, any sort of reviews you can find. Mm -hmm. That's a big factor. There's a lot of reviews and the stars are over 4.1 or 4 on Google Maps. That's, that's usually, usually pretty a, safe. That's a good as thing. well as when we're going by a place. If there's locals eating there, if there's Lots people, people eating there, you know it's going to be good. Sanitary, you can tell just, you can tell by the way it is. <laughs> You can tell that it's an aspen tree because of the way it is. Let's go eat on that note. I just Look love free this. food. Okay, so last time we were in the Chiang Mai lounge, we didn't actually film that day when we went to Krabi, but they had these, it's mm, cheese so and spinach soon. and I'm so excited. We haven't actually been to this physical lounge because we were no. taking an international flight. This is an international mm -hmm. terminal. I got miso fried rice and ham and cheese sandwiches with white bread. <laughs> Classic white bread. Plastic wrapped. I got no myself crust. some curry with fried rice. And again, like I said, this cheesy spinach goodness. Devin doesn't have bread at all in Asia. No, I miss bread. There's zero bread for her. Mm -hmm. No gluten-free stuff, no alternatives. Sadly, we're leaving the lounge because we Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And that brings us to our next tip, which mm -hmm. is if you're traveling a lot, we would recommend getting the priority pass, which we got through our American Express Platinum credit card this way, I think. Keith. Yeah. If you want to know more information about the MX Platinum, um, let us know. Just comment below. And we'll happily answer your questions. We do have a link that gives you points for signing up and gives us points as well. It's in the description as well. Now it is an expensive card, it. but there's a lot of benefits to it. Seven. Seven, seven. Use your laser eyes. It's over here. Ah. Seems like it's the last call here, so we're like, we're the last three people on. Devin, Devin getting nervous like, again? Yeah, because I was like, Keith, we gotta go, we gotta go. We he are was like, we have time. Seven minutes, okay, eight minutes now after boarding. And then it's this final boarding call. What? Sometimes the boarding is like, you get there, there's a huge line, you're waiting for another 40 minutes. We're now, Line's gone. We're checking our visas. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh my, okay, so not as bad as the person behind us. Poor buddy, um, they misplaced his passport or something because he doesn't have it. I think they gave it to the wrong passenger in the rush of the end. We'll talk about our visas in a second because it's a bit complicated, but let's just make sure we get on and maybe help this guy out. We're gonna try and help him find his passport, see if anybody has his passport. Feel bad for the guy. We still haven't found his passport. did our best asking the, uh, the one dude that we actually saw that was with us at the check-in desk, or sorry, the, the gate. At the end, but he has his own. But he has his own passport, so that was, you know, weight so off my conscience. another tip that we just learned right now is when you hand your passport to someone, please make sure that you are watching the whole time yeah, that it's your passport. Yeah, they're, they're working hard here, yeah, making so sure that uh, everyone checks. Always do not take your eyes off your passport when your you give it to someone. Tip. They found his passport, some other guy had it in his pocket and he didn't realize, yay! Oh, Another important tip, if you are taller than me, 6'1", then you probably should be traveling because there's not enough space on airplanes. So I'm talking to you, my sister's fiance, Alex, who's 6'6". Don't travel, just drive to Florida. Don't go outside of that. Don't do anything else. Tanner Graham, Jesse, Thomas Pearson, anyone who's bigger than me. The light comes on when in contact with water, and here is a whistle to attract attention. Evacuation slides are located at all exits. Please note where the emergency
easy flight. We're gonna get through customs and then we'll see on the other side and fill in on the visa situation. And there you go, folks. The visa went through. You have to do it online here. You have to, it's strictly e-visa only. Mm -hmm. If you screw that up, it's a new thing, by the way. Then you get detained and sent back to where you were from, like our friends Max and Jackie. Sorry that happened to you, Jackie. Thank yeah. you, though, for telling us so we knew. So we did the e-visa, printed it off, and that, that's it, yeah, right? Yeah, she didn't even look at my visa. They must have it electronically, to be honest. But we were told to print it off. So, so we now did. we're officially in Vietnam. One other tip about visas for Vietnam specifically is make sure you apply, we'd say, about two weeks in advance because it says three business days, but it took us longer to get ours than three days, about five days, and you don't want to accidentally miss your flight or something like that. So apply for it well in advance. And it costs money on, and you have to pay online. Yeah, and you pay online with a credit card. Turns out, we're just calculating money right now, that they don't charge commission and the rates are really good for cash here at the Vietnamese airport here in uh, in Hanoi. Yeah, because they can be all over, so all over the place. So we're just like, going to convert some cash because the rates are fantastic. We just lost a ton of cash converting KIP to BOT so because no one likes KIPs. So if you're in Laos and you have KIP, make sure you exchange it at the border. Yeah, get rid of it. Hey, that's another tip. Cash is not fun to use and to handle. Uh, ATM machines are spooky sometimes. They can suck up your ATM cards or they can, or your debit cards or your credit cards, or even charge you double or charge you and then not give you cash. So anyways, lesson is you have to learn how to deal with cash. Because it's a thing here. Yeah, it is a thing in this part of the world. And if you find a good rate, use it. Find a good rate, use it, look at Google reviews for money exchange places that helped we us. we found a great one in Siem Reap. In Siem Reap. Anyways, we should do this because they're waiting. Nice, that's excellent. So tip. We got cash. Have emergency And cash. the airport has really good rates. Yeah, and then going off what Keith said about the ATMs and taking your money, that's not at all to scare you. Just sometimes they don't have the money, but they still charge your card. Mm -hmm. Our tip is that we always try and take money out of ATMs that are attached to a bank that is open. So if for some reason it eats our credit card or something happens, we can go in the bank and talk to them right away. Next step to get to our final destination here in Hanoi. Oh. Ordering our grab. And because of the dataroni pepperoni we have, boom, looking for a ride. It's busy out there though, so we'll see how long it takes. So again, we did look into the bus and it would be an hour and 40 minutes to get to our destination versus 40 to 50 minutes. So again, because of Keith's health, we just want to get him in bed and rested so we can explore the next few days. So that is why we're paying the extra money to get into town quicker. Buildings are really cool. They're all quite thin and they're about four to five stories tall. Come on, thank okay. you. Bye bye. Bye. Okay, walking streets because we are in the old quarter. The city looks cool, really cool. Vietnam, green and colorful and fun. I'm excited to explore you. with a bunch of information at the and juice. We made it. We're in Vietnam and we're excited to start exploring. Very excited to explore this place. The final tip we have for you today, although we have tons more advice, follow along and for our we'll, future advice. Yes is going back to the very beginning to do with illness is become prepared with a pharmacy if that's also something you're that's interested fine. in we can create like a detailed list of all of the stuff we bring all the pills we bring but the two main things we want to mention is antibiotics you can actually bring antibiotics so we brought like antibiotics for azithromycin for uh, bacterial infections and for food poisoning and in Keith general now have taken twice on this trip. i've done it twice now because it's been serious enough mm -hmm. we are in contact with a travel nurse at home and she's Julie, amazing you are the best and, and so that's always, been really, really helpful. When, again, when I get stressed out, when Keith is really ill, I text Julie and she's always done such, she does such a good job of calming me down and helping us out. Okay, so we, we both cannot get sick. thank us, thank her enough. Okay, yes, but it's, uh, you get sick more than me. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Anyways, if you're still here, thank you for watching. And we'll see you soon.
in trouble there, little cheese, cheese, cheese folk? I've barely had any cheese while we've been in Asia. I think this is my favorite lounge food option I've ever had. Look at this. What? In the spinach? Mm -mm -mm. Another tip, a very serious one, if you are taller than 6'1", my height, um, then you probably shouldn't be traveling at all. So I'm talking to you, uh, my sister's fiance, Alex, you're 6'6", six, six. You stay at home, don't leave Canada. But Maybe why? go to Florida. You're not explaining why. <laughs> Just because oh. the seats are too big. Because the seats are too small, that's the tip. That's not, like, you're...